Hello, Kelly Ackley with Remax Advantage. Here to talk to you about property taxes today. Wanted to give you just a quick overview of what to expect at the closing table and then for the existing year, or I mean for the upcoming year. So property taxes, you are basically going to pay the seller's tax rate for the year that you purchase. I'm going to use some general dates. So you purchase a house on June 1st. Your tax bill for that house that you're buying doesn't come out until November. So now you've only bought the house June 1st. What about taxes for January 1st to uh, May 31st? Who pays those taxes? You don't wanna get stuck with them in November, right? So at the closing table, on the closing statement, the seller is going to credit you their portion of the taxes. So whatever their tax bill was, we're going to divide it by 365 days. The seller is going to pay January 1st to the day before closing, which if closing's on June 1st, we're picking these imaginary numbers, let's do that. Um, then he would give you that portion from January 1st to May 31st. Closing statement as a credit. When the bill comes in November, you're in your new house, you've only been there a couple months, you get the bill, you've already gotten that money from the seller, so you pay the tax bill for next year, right? Next year, now you're on your own, we need to get your tax rate. I will send out reminders for homestead exemption applications, but that's something you can do right after closing if you'd like. Uh, you can go to, if you buy in Pasco, you go to the Pasco County Property Appraisers Office. If you go, if you buy Pinellas, same thing, Pinellas County Property Appraisers, Hillsboro, um, it's all the same. You just go to that county and they will ask you for some information to file and prove that you are living in Florida in this house six months and one day out of the year. That's what is required to be a primary resident. And if so, you can get anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars off the assessed value of what you're taxed on. So that homestead exemption for being a primary resident of the state of Florida is huge. That's something I can make sure that you get if the seller that you're buying the house from had a homestead exemption because they used that property as as their primary residence then you will inherit their um their homestead exemption for the year and then next year of course you'll have to apply for yours so assessed value is usually again this is where not the tax professional but i know just enough to be dangerous is that they assess the taxes on the assessed value. Assessed value is about 80% of the purchase price, what you paid for it. So here's something that surprises people. If you've got mom and pop who bought this house 40 years ago, they paid $20,000 in it, they've lived in it for all of these years and now they're going to sell it, their tax rate is going to be extremely low. When you purchase that house, now it's going to be completely reassessed with the new purchase price. Your taxes are gonna go, go way up. You need to know that. It's not gonna go up to where they shouldn't be. I mean, it's not astronomical, it's still fair, but it's just gonna be quite a bit higher than what you saw that the last uh, owner paid. So, so that's just a little bit of information. Hopefully that helps give you an idea of what to expect. Uh, there's ways that we can kind of comp compute the taxes. Uh, there are different calculators online for homestead exemption. Save our home cap is something that's really cool too. That's portability where if you have the homestead exemption, certain amount of money that you are saving, when you purchase a new home in the state of Florida, you can bring some of those savings along with you portability. That's a whole other issue for a whole other day, but if that's something that you need now or soon, just uh, comment and leave me a message or contact me directly and let me see if I can figure out the best numbers uh, that I can get for you for portability, see what you can bring over to your new house. So anyways, hope that helps. Hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.